Well, let's get this started. What is up, what is up y'all? Back with a different type of video today. This time I'll be showing some appreciation to my favorite remixes in the community. It's no secret that the modding scene is big. However, amongst all the mods about existing IPs, creepypastas, numerous OCs, etc., it's nice to have mods that are centered around remixing or remaking many things about the base game that makes it so special, the reason why we're all here in the first place. Some pull it off better than others, of course, but needless to say, remix mods and honestly remixes in general are a treat in this community. So, for my second ever video like this since my Indie Cross retrospective, I figured it'd be fun to make a video listing my favorite remixes of the base Friday Night Funkin' song, with some exceptions of course. So, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'll be listing my favorites as so. I'll say what my favorite remix is, then I'll pick a second favorite, which I'll refer to as an honorable mention. And I'll continue this all the way to stress. Here are the rules I'm following for this video. 1. If it's a song that's currently in Friday Night Funkin', it qualifies. 2. I'll only tackle officially playable remixes. This is to narrow down my choices significantly, as if I were to try pinning down a favorite remix from the entirety of YouTube, this list would never get done. There will be minor exceptions though, but more on that later. 3. If an entry on this list is either made by or from a mod made by someone that the community doesn't really like at the moment, yeah, I don't care. I separate creation from creator. If you have a problem with that, Top titty. 4. Remix mods tend to rename stuff on occasion, so if a song sounds like a remix, Remix, or is in place of where one of the base game songs would be, and it's supposed to be its replacement, it counts. This will make more sense once we get into the list. 5. I obviously can't know every remix out there, so there's probably a ton I don't even know. 6. Remember, this is strictly my opinion on what I think are my personal favorites, so keep that in mind when certain mods get brought up multiple times, while some get brought up once or not at all. So, with that being said, Let's get into it. And by all means, tell me what your personal list would be in the comments if you'd like. I'd love to see them. First up is Tutorial. The ones I picked are arguably not a good way to actually teach you the game, but excel at being great songs by themselves. My pick for the number one Tutorial Remix goes to... Basics from Bun Beats. I really like this version of GF's voice, and the she does is pretty adorable. Near the end of the song, she just straight up starts rapping FNF style to close it out. Which is cool. Albeit, this wouldn't be the first time this happened in a mod, but still neat nonetheless. And I also really dig the instrumental of this. Oh, and I meant that this does not do a good job of teaching you the game, because BF kind of just goes off the rails. <laughs> but if anything, I like the song for that. Now onto what I've chosen as my honorable mention, and that would be Tutorial from Saturday Night Swappin'. For those that haven't heard of this, it's a mod where certain characters' roles are switched up and changed dramatically. Remember this for later, by the way. Anyway, as you can see, BF and GS roles have been swapped, and we have this version of BF giving us the tutorial instead. He even has a different chromatic. This tutorial really leans into it just being a song, but with the tutorial elements in it like bun beats. However, what I like about the song itself is the fact that BF switches between singing and saying the directions multiple times in the song instead of just doing it once, which I haven't heard from a tutorial before. So yeah, good on y'all for that. Now you're probably expecting week one, but I wanted to get something out of the way first, before tackling the rest of the main stuff, as this entry is just as important considering the times it's been remixed, and that is the Test song. So let me start off by saying that I didn't even know Test existed before playing a certain mod. I know so little in fact that I'm unsure if the version of Test that has vocals is official or not. I couldn't find out myself, so if you know, please tell me, but regardless, I'm gonna have an entry for it anyway. That being said, my favorite remix of Test is actually the first time I ever heard it and that would be sound test crunching mix from friday night crunching
Yep, I never said the entries on here would only be from remix mods. There are many remixes of base game songs scattered around in certain other mods as well. This being one of them. And honestly, probably would have been my favorite regardless of if I knew Test existed or not because, and I mean this in the most respectful way I can, oh my god, this blows all the other ones out the water. While I'm not saying both BFs are a bad thing, having the remix be between BF and someone else is refreshing, especially when I happen to love Serial Guys Chromatic in the first place. <laughs> The original test goes for a more chip tune feel, while this one has a more electronic or pop feel to it, and I love it. Side note, sorry if I sound like a dum-dum there, I suck at identifying genres. Anyway, this remix just sounds so smooth, and the parts they replace with their own take sound amazing. Easy first place spot, not even close. As for the honorable mention, this remix takes things more traditional as far as Test goes, but does something great with it. The honorable mention goes to Test from D Sides. Okay, so this one does something awesome. I love the instrumental at the start leading to the chip tune esque sound that we expect from Test. The remix goes pretty much as expected until you get to the duet part near the middle where instead of moving on from there, the opponent decides to replicate the voices of Daddy Dearest, the Spooky Kids, Pico, Mommy Mirrorist, and even has fresh beatboxing to lead into all of it. It's a nice change up, and the ending harmony, that's some good shit right there, man. Alright, time to get started with the actual weeks. Now, a lot of these from this point forward were really hard to pin down a favorite and or honorable mention for, and for different reasons. So much so that at one point I considered doing three entries instead of two, but decided against it. Anyway, let's go to Bo Peepo. Now, this one was fairly easy. My favorite remix of Bo Peepo is... Bleach from Friday Night Funkin' R and B sides. As the name implies, it's a R&B styled remix mod, and I absolutely love what they did to Bo Peebo here. So much so that I couldn't just not put it as my favorite. The chill, smooth R&B feel you'd expect, and I love what they do with Daddy Dears' voice whenever he does the... I barely ever hear people go that high with his voice, and it really fits well. 100% my favorite. As for the honorable mention, this one was actually pretty hard because I had to shelf another entry I really liked, but it was worth it. The honorable mention goes to Bo Peebo from Friday Night Funkin' Neo. This mod's whole vibe is a tree, and its version of this song is the second most chill version of it I've heard besides R&B sides. This version goes for a, again sorry if I get this wrong, synthwave-like feel, and it works, since Bo Peepo was always a relatively chill song in the first place. It's not much to add, really, it's just a really good remix. Yes, yeah, side note, sorry if I have a lot to say about certain songs and not a lot to say about certain others. Sometimes I just don't really have a way of describing how I feel about a song. Now on to Fresh, and whoo boy, this one was really hard. For the honorable mention at least, Fresh had by far the most scrapped candidates on here. Hell, as I made this script, I changed one of the placings. Although, I've had my favorite Fresh remix in the same exact place ever since I even thought about making this video, and that would be Fresh from B3 Remixes. Yeah. 
B3's chromatic is a favorite of mine, and it's used so well here. The OG Fresh is more slow and funky, however this version is pretty fast, and while I can't pin down a genre for it this time, it's very upbeat, and the beatboxing, if it's even that anymore, is very different, but in a good way. With honestly my favorite part being the fact that the song ends with the instrumental that plays when you retry after blue balling. This is my favorite remix, the moment I played it all the way back, and I still think so. Yeah, I had to scrap like a few candidates to wind up where we are now, but I'm pretty confident where I am right now. The honorable mention spot goes to Fresh from Funkin' Mix. First of all, I really love how they go for two rounds of beatboxing rather than just one before getting to the like meat of the song. The remix then plays out how you would expect it to, but then halfway through it goes to a more sing-heavy part that we're not really used to in Fresh. They each have their respective turns to pop off and I really love it. Ending off with a nice duet and the chill instrumental. Good shit. Finally, we have Dad Battle. Let's not delay. My favorite Dad Battle remix is Dad Battered from Bun Beats. Okay, this is by far the most hype version of Dad Battle there is. Like seriously, I was blown away by this remix. If this makes sense, this version of Dad Battle seems like the version we'd get if Daddy Dearest was still an active rock star. This song actively fucking rocks, and the high notes that BF goes to is amazing. Pairing that with the fact that they're constantly duetting throughout and you have an awesome experience. I also love that at the end, the song calms down to what you'd usually expect from a remix dad battle motif, because it really puts into perspective how high energy the song was before winding up here. This made it my favorite easy. Now, this next version of Dad Battle is pretty hype itself. Honorable mention spot goes to Dad Battle from B-Sides Redux. Again, another absolutely rockin' remix. The moment I heard this, I knew this was gonna be one of my favorites. The song catches most off guard with the surprising use of fresh vocals with the guitar in the background, and then it goes into what you'd expect. It's B-side, so it doesn't do anything too out of the ordinary, besides just being a great remix in and of itself, with an awesome instrumental. The song even ends with BF and Daddy Dearest taking turns doing the fresh vocals again from the start of the song, which is a nice touch. This used to be my favorite, and till I heard the actual favorite. But needless to say, Dad Battle was pretty easy to pick from. Week 2 time. Spookies has a good selection of remixes, but what's my favorite? It's none other than Spookies B-Sides Redux. This version of the song just absolutely brings the Halloween vibe and I love it. Feels like something you'd hear in a cartoon Halloween episode and that obviously fits these two extremely well. Not too much else to say really, since it's B-Sides. And I don't mean that as an insult, I mean, you know, uh, B-Sides is supposed to be more simple remixes, you know, so. But yeah, definitely my favorite version of Spookies by far.
As for the next one, this is a bit different, but in a good way. The honorable mention spot goes to Scaries from Saturday Night Swappin'. Remember what I said about characters switching roles before? Well in here, Daddy Dearest and Mommy Mirest are kids in week 2, while Skid and Pump are adults in week 1 and 4 eventually. Pump being the Daddy Dearest replacement, and Skid being the Mommy Mirest replacement. And being a pop star, I assume. Hence why this version of Spooky sounds more like a pop song, and I honestly love it a lot. I really like Skid's new chromatic. No one does like a laugh during this, but Skid isn't really a kid here, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, Scaries is great, moving on. Okay, so finding South remixes was harder than I thought, but not because of the lack of them. Far from it, actually. It was hard trying to pick an honorable mention, but as for what my favorite South remix is, that one was easy. My favorite being... East from Bun Beats. This just checks all the boxes for me. I'm like really picky when it comes to South remixes. They really have to stand out for me and thankfully many remixes, even those that didn't make it on here, did that well. East is certainly one of them. You can of course still tell it's a South remix, but it sounds pretty unique. Melodies are pretty different. I love the many harmonies with the kids here and the song even ends with one final harmony to really close it out. I don't have much to say really, you just need to listen to this to yourself because East is absolutely a fantastic South remix. So as for what I eventually picked as the honorable mention, I thought really hard about this. Re-listened to a lot of them and sparks suddenly went off when I went to re-listen to one I forgot I really liked. So my honorable mention pick goes to X South, or it's probably still pronounced South, from DJX. Honestly, I was really hoping a song from DJX would make it on here, I love DJX. And this South remix is so damn good. I knew it was good, but only after listening to a ton of them did I realize how much X South clears so many of them for me. The instrumental gives me life, and the natural scratches that come with any song in DJX amplify this remix for me so much. It's goaded, moving on. Alright, time for Monster. So this'll be a thing with Winter Horror Land as well, but monster remixes that aren't literally just the instrumental being different or something sound totally different to a point where they're not even really remixes anymore. They're replacements, but they still count because they're where monster and Winter Horror Land would be. My favorite monster replacement would be Monster from D Sides. This one really gives off a similar vibe to the original, but faster. The instrumental is like a goofy kind of spooky paired with a grown ass man talking about how he wants to eat you and your girlfriend. I always love them anyways, they'll mix up monster wanting to eat them. I love shit like this man. It helps that the song itself is pretty good. Definitely my favorite monster remix. <laughs> Just to get right to it, the honorable mention spot goes to Illusion from FNF Neo.
Now, this monster song is way more intense than most. The lyrics he be spitting sound more like he gets a kick out of killing and messing with BF more than actually wanting to eat him. It's actually pretty cool. The instrumental is unlike any monster song. Like I said, it's more intense and it absolutely goes off. Definitely an easy honorable mention spot. Alright, on to week 3. Now this one had a lot of good options to pick from. Like this is harder than I thought in some cases, but regardless, let's go to Pico. The one I've chosen for my absolute favorite Pico remix is... Shackles from Aerofunk. This was easy for me. I love how it subverts some people's expectations when the song really gets started. Since Pico starts the song exactly how you would expect him to, then you're suddenly hit with a tuned Pico vocal. People are usually mixed to just outright hating Pico tuned voices, but I think this one is pretty good. It still feels like a Pico remix. He even ends the song with the usual voice again. I love how despite the fact that from a vocal standpoint the song sounds different, but the instrumental backing this all up really still makes it feel like a remix of Pico and I love that about it. This was an easy favorite, I love this song. <laughs> Now for the honorable mention spot, and this one I actually forgot about until this video, and that is Rollout from Saturday Night Swappin'. See now, this one falls under a weird spot, where I was considering whether or not this counted as an UGG remix, or a Pico remix. Cause the thing with Saturday Night Swappin' is taking aspects of certain things and swapping them, while trying to maintain a sort of vibe of both, if that makes sense. And I think this is one of the songs that pulls that off the best. But anyway, as to whether or not this falls under an UGG or a Pico remix, well, despite the fact that he literally says it, and there's even a motif or two in there, the other 80% of the song is most definitely supposed to be more leaned towards Pico, so that's what I choose. This song is awesome. Unlike Shackles, where its singing kind of just goes off and does its own thing with the instrumental backing it up, Tank Man singing parts feels like he's actually trying to sing along to Pico as we know it, if that makes sense. And the added touch of the UGG in there really makes this not only stand out, but definitely marks it as my second favorite Pico remix. <laughs> Alright, time for Philly Nice. This one was the easiest in terms of picking my favorite. The best Philly remix goes to... Philly Nice from Graffiti Groovin'. Now, at the time of me recording this audio, I actually have not gone around to playing the update of Graffiti Groovin'. I'm going to assume Philly is still the same, and even if some changes were made to it, I don't think this would change my opinion. Yeah, like, this is the remix of Philly Nice, I'm sorry. It's just so good. Scarlet kind of just steals the show here. She just absolutely pops off with way more notes than BF did in the OG song. Pico himself almost taking a backseat in certain areas since she has solos and, and it fits so well. Side note, I I feel like this remix only exists because of the big old bunny misheard lyric in the OG Philly Nice, and if that is the case because Scarlet is a bunny, then that's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, awesome remix, definitely favorite. Okay, so before I get to the honorable mention, let me just say something. Literally, as I was getting to the end of the week four segment of this script, I had to completely scrap this entire honorable mention portion of Philly Nice entirely. So let me explain as I tell you that the honorable mention is new Philly Nice B3.
At the time of writing this, the new B3 update isn't out yet, but they have released new versions of songs for us to peep, and this is one of them. Now see, thing is, I was actually debating whether or not this should count since it's not playable yet, however it still does fit the criteria solely due to the fact that it will be playable. And it's the official B3 mod, so it definitely counts. And if you're curious as to what I put here before they posted this new version, my entry was funny enough, the old version of B3 Philly, so this was just convenient. This new version is so good. The instrumental is similar to the older version, but feels way more upbeat. Maybe that's just my imagination. But the main thing here is the vocals. Not only does Bartholomew actually have his unique voice this time that we all know and love, but Pico also got his new B3 voice that we first heard in the song F.U. in week 3.5. This remix is so fucking good, and I don't even have anything else to say on that. I can't wait to actually play this. And I know some people have a problem with Pico's B3 voice, but honestly, it Really, really good. Easy on our mention, can't wait to play this. Finally, Blammed time. There were a lot of good options for this one, but I finally pinned it down. My favorite Blammed remix is Pulp from FNF Sour. Bland being as popular as it is, so many go with an epic feel when remixing it, and Sour is definitely no exception to that, because holy shit, the instrumental goes crazy. I have a hard time really putting into words how epic this sounds. It's literally like you're fighting the song. Genuinely, I have nothing else to say here. Play Sour, get to this song, and you're in for one of the best bland remixes you've ever heard. As for me though, it's just my favorite. Now, what do I pick as my honorable mention? The honorable mention is Blam from Aerofunk. When Aerofunk was updated, Blam was definitely a favorite for many, me included. However, I was put in a weird situation since, in my opinion, this barely made the list due to one thing. This don't sound like Blammed at all, really. This song is just practically its own thing. So much so I was considering not counting it, like I can barely hear Blammed in it. But I thought about it and this isn't the first and won't be the last time a remix does its own thing for the most part, so I still think it counts. Works out for me, since Blam is awesome. The tuned Pico vocal is back and in full force the whole song. And despite literally getting shot at, this song is actually way less intense than any Bland remix and it definitely works. I've gone long enough, you get the point. Incredibly different, but Blam is a banger. Alright, on to week four, baby. We're nearing the point in the list where my options are limited by a lot. Week four had less choices, but was still pretty challenging to pick. Let's get to Satan Panties. My favorite actually came as a shock as my first time hearing it was making this list. My favorite Satan Panties remix is Satan Panties Chill Sides, old remix. <laughs> Yep, didn't see that coming, huh? I actually wasn't aware that Chill Sides, like B3, had an old version before revamping the mod until after I played it on, on the channel. And man, I was caught by surprise with this one. I kid you not, I was standing up when I played this and started doing the dance the minions were doing. This shit is groovy as fuck. I don't know what that sample is at the start of the song, but it's fucking good. The song sounds like how you think it sounds, but just a bit faster. And the duets that Satan Panties excels at still sound amazing. This remix is just fantastic and I can't wait to see how they do it in the new week 4 whenever that comes out. Now as for the honorable mention, my pick is Satan Panties from FNF Neo. This 
This will be short as I honestly have a hard time describing this one. It's gonna get a little hard describing in what ways me like song, you know? But regardless, I love how chill it sounds. The instrumental steals the show for me here. Same Pain is always pretty chill, but this one is such a vibe. Really, that's it. Like, nothing else to add. Great remix. Okay, now on to High. For those that don't know, High is my favorite song in base game. Like, period. So I'm literally always looking forward to different iterations of it. As for which is my favorite, that goes to High from D-Sides. Y'all, I love what they did here. This high remix breathes life into me. It's twice as long as the OG high, but that's fine because I want it to last this long. My favorite part is the way they took the beginning part of the song and turned it into the main hook of the song that repeats throughout. It keeps the same warm feel good tone of the original that I love so much. Easy favorite. Now, as for the honorable mention, I actually knew this would be one of my favorites when I first played it. The honorable mention is Hi from Friday Night Funk and Crystal. This remix sounds like an ice level version of this song if that makes sense. The vibe of the original really lends itself well to that type of thing. It doesn't change a whole lot in the vocal department, at least not any more than any other side's remix, but still a nice remix, really. Not really much to add here. Good shit. Let's get straight into MILF. Most people's pick for a favorite, as far as week four is concerned. My favorite MILF remix is MILF Decides. It uses the motifs so well here, and takes the iconic fast part of the song and even references it at the beginning. The section itself being as hype as I expected, and I love that it references the original Maya Mira song of the mod Awuga near the end. Definitely an easy favorite, not much to say. The honorable mention goes to MILF from FNF Neo. Honestly, had it not been for that one part in D-Side's MILF, this would be my favorite. This keeps the energy and feel of the OG MILF while kind of sounding like it's doing its own thing. It has its own spin on the starting part of OG MILF, changes it a tad, and runs with it the whole song. You could say it's repetitive in a sense, but I don't mind that one bit. I love the slow fade in at the start with their vocals too, it really feels like it's building up to the hype. Amazing remix. Okay, now on to the week that everyone forgets about until it's brought up. Personally speaking, week 5 is great, and I'll never understand the consensus that it's mid or just bad in general. These remixes do it just as I think. Well, anyway, let's just get to Coco. The best Coco remix is Coco from Friday Night Funkin' Neo. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now see, something that more complex Coco remixes do is barely sound like it at all. With Neo, that's not the case. This remix makes me feel good, man. It's hard to describe it, but it still captures the joyous feel of the OG, but not only sounds more cheerful, but it does this without even sounding Christmas-like anymore, which makes sense considering the setting of Neo. I don't know, it just feels like the type of song that would have people taking their lighters and waving them around slowly at a concert or something. Absolutely love this remix. Honorable mention goes to Green Eggs from D Sides. Yes, you're going to see this combination of mods again, I'm sorry. But that aside, it's obviously not Christmas in D-Side, so... This is the Coco replacement more than a remix. Still one of the best, though. It sounds more like a Halloween song than anything else, despite it being Easter. Albeit, I'm not sure how you would make an Easter-themed song, so... Yeah, honestly, I don't have much to say here. It's a great replacement song, and it still counts. So, yeah, moving on. Eggnog Time, my favorite song from week 5. My favorite remix of it is Ham from D Sides. Yes, I'm aware this is the fourth D Sides placing. Trust me, the list will be varied once again soon. I was running out of remixes, damn it. Either way, this would probably be my favorite still. This actually does sound like it's supposed to be a remix of Eggnog. The motifs show up a lot, and it really just overall feels like it's supposed to be a sort of spooky take on it, which I love. Not much to say there. Great remix. Alright, let's get this out of the way. The honorable mention is Eggnog from Neo. Can you tell I'm running out of ways to say me like song because unless one of them does something like really 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 stand out for then I can't really say much on it. Same goes for this. I don't have much to say this one besides what I said about Neo Coco. At least until the end. The song starts to get really uh, distorted I guess. It gets this way due to plot reasons but I really like how it sounds. Not much to say really. Okay, now for Winter Warland. Look, you know damn well what's in the spot if you've seen my YouTube shorts. My favorite remix is Winter Horrorland from Friday Night Funkin' Evil Skater Edition. <laughs> Y'all, I am so mad at myself. I was about to get to week 6 until I found out about this remix. I was just on Twitter and saw someone post the Winter Horrorland remix from this mod and all this time, I thought it was just an art swap mod, not a full-fledged remix mod. Why didn't y'all tell me? I heard the remix and knew that I was going to be my favorite without even finishing the song and I was right. I love metal and this remix just does it for me. The person doing the monster voice was on point with the way he sang and the damn guitar solo? This is my favorite. No contest. And the way he screamed some of the lines too, like bro went straight up metal screaming in some of the parts. It had me so hype. Favorites. No contest. Honorable mention time, and man, I feel bad since this was originally the favorite honorable mention spot goes to Feaster from D-Sides.
This is so damn good. The lyrics are what you'd expect. He's gonna eat us. However, midway through the song, after he sings about eating boyfriend, he then goes on to explain his process for GF. Chester sounds great as usual, but then he gets his little buddy involved, and he has an actual chromatic. But admittedly, my favorite part is when they start singing and, and humming Deck the Halls while the song still sounds sinister as fuck, referencing the Christmas origins of week 5, while keeping the vibe the whole song had to this point. They even end the song on it. How could this not be one of my favorites? So damn good. Alright, I feel like you may be getting tired of seeing D-Side show up. Well, it ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Look, at this point in the list, I am legitimately running low on remixes, considering most remix mods don't really get this far, so you're gonna have to cut me some slack a little. Fortunately, I still do have some new ones to show off, like my favorite Senpai remix. Senpai is often slept on in favor of Roses and Thorns, which I find unfair, since personally I like Senpai more than Thorns. That being said, my favorite Senpai remix is Senpai from Funkin' Playback. This one was a surprise. I randomly found the mod on YouTube, and to my surprise, they decided to remix Senpai, and it's awesome. It starts off with the same pixelated vocals that you're used to, then transitions to regular BF vocals and a new regular Senpai voice, which sounds so on point. It's pretty standard affair until it goes... and BF just starts popping off, and I love it. Really makes this remix stand out since he just continues to do so. An absolutely fantastic remix, I love it. So yeah, for the honorable mention, this one will go to Sensei from D-Sides. Y'all, I love this remix so much. For a different reason, of course. In D-Side's fashion, it changes a up a lot of stuff. Senpai in Hating Simulator is now Sensei, and the game being, well, a fighting game. So naturally, they decide to make a Senpai remix that sounds like it came from an old Street Fighter game as opposed to a dating sim, and it works so well. I'm a huge fan of fighting games, so this earned so many brownie points from me. Almost made the top spot, honestly. I love that you can still hear the main motif of Senpai, but changed up in a different key, with Sensei's more aggressive sounding voice. Love this remix, easy honorable mention. Alright, time for everyone's favorite of the week, mine included, Roses. This song just slaps way too hard. This one will be an interesting case too. My favorite Roses remix is Roses from Funkin' Playback. Not bad for an ugly worm, but this time I'll rip your nuts off right after your girlfriend finishes gargling mine. So this falls under the same category as B3 Philly, where it's gonna be playable, but this time it's a maybe. Like literally I asked the composer of Funkin' Playback if this would be playable and they said maybe. So fuck it, I count it. Would have counted it anyway, because wow, this is hands down the best Roses remix I've heard. This is another remix I didn't know of until writing the script. It's already amazing how the song starts off with Senpai voice acting his line from his post-Senpai dialogue as the instrumental ramps up. Then it just goes off. I don't even know how to describe it. This just rocks. The instrumental goes crazy here. You just gotta listen to it for yourself, man. Easily the best Roses remake, by far. Alright. 
Funny enough, this was actually in the best category before finding out about playback. Honorable mention goes to Rose's B-Sides. Again, I don't have a lot of options here, and despite this being the old remix, it's pretty good. At the time of me recording this, there isn't a new B-Sides Roses, but still, I, lo I love this one a lot. And trust me, it took all my power to not put Roses D-Sides here, but I may just like B-Sides ever so slightly more. Just like B-Sides Senpai, it's faster than the original, but not to the extent that B-Sides Senpai is. It's pretty much what you would expect, with a lot more vocals. And the instrumental sounds pretty damn similar. I can tell it's maybe a little bit different, or maybe I'm just crazy. There's more duets, and I love how BF sorta has his own moments to shine in between. And instead of the ending being a back and forth, it's another duet, which definitely fits. Banger remix. Okay, time for Thorns. My picks here will probably surprise you. My favorite Thorns remix is Thorns from Hellbeats. Yeah, Hellbeast doesn't even have a week 6 currently, but this is just sitting in free play. And it ended up being the best Thorns remix to me. I like the way they go about the main motif here, where it's kind of like a slow burn into the song. After all that, it's pretty much what you would expect from Thorns, but a more demonic instrumental, if that makes sense. Which fits the mod, so awesome Thorns remix. The honorable mention spot goes to Thorns from D-Sides. Yeah, I know, this is often seen as most people's least favorite of D-Sides Week 6, but I don't know, I like it. Love it, in fact. It goes for a more intense feel and pulls it off great. Something I liked about Roses as well was the fighting game noises Sensei would make in the middle of the song, and it's no different here. It really sounds like you're facing an angry-as-fuck boss in a fighting game. Along with the fact that just like Sensei, you can still hear bits and pieces of their own takes on certain Thorns motifs, and I love that. But yeah, not much to say. I just really think this is a very rockin' intense Thorns remix, and it's really, really good. Seriously, if you were iffy on this remix, give it another listen, you may like it. Week 7 time. Now, that being said, Week 7 doesn't really have that many options, besides like two mods, before I got to this point in the script. But now I actually have some wiggle room, so let's go. My favorite UG remix is UG from B3. This is yet another song that, at the time of making this video, hasn't been released yet, but the song itself is available to listen to. It sounds like what you would expect from a remix, but with the B3 style of it, if that makes sense. B3's chromatic and tank vans go together really well too. Yeah, not much to say really. This literally just blows every other remix out of the water for me. Can't wait to actually play this. All right, honorable mention time. Honorable mention goes to Ugg from D-Sides. Funny enough, 
Even if I had the script out earlier, I could have put this on the list. I just recently found out this song has been public for a long time. Regardless though, wow this remix bangs. A swing remix of UGG isn't something I knew I wanted until I got it. It works so damn well too. I also like how him saying UGG is, is essentially replaced with a more upfront. So yeah, that's neat. Awesome remix. Alright, guns time. I feel like this song is constantly on an uphill battle with fans since if the Ascension part isn't to their liking, it tends to not be liked very much. But whatever, I just like the song, man. That being said, my favorite guns remix is Guns B-Sides. Once again, it's B-side, so it's about what you'd expect for the most part. But the part that really shines is how they handle the Ascension part. Basically, they keep the instrumental from the rest of the song instead of switching it, and that already is a very welcome way to do it, honestly. It's very different. But on top of that, they extend it and have Tank Man and BF duet. That's so cool. This cemented it as my favorite Guns remix. Good shit. Getting right into it, honorable mention goes to Rate It from Saturday Night Swappin'. Honestly, I really don't have much to say here. I like the different ways they use some of the motifs. There's no faster ascending part, so some probably won't like that. But it's whatever. It basically keeps the same flow that the start of Guns has the entire time, pretty much. And while that may sound boring to some, yeah, I don't care. I, I personally really like it. <laughs> Great remix. Alright, final song of the base game, Stress. My favorite Stress remix is definitely, without a doubt, Stress D-Sides. Holy crap, they went so hard on this remix. The instrumental just makes this feel so so climatic. I also love that GF also joins BF in this song like people thought she would do in base game stress, and she sounds great. Tank Man's yeah scream really making it feel like he's having a hype time while trying to settle the score, which essentially replaces the pretty good moment, which honestly I think is a really good replacement. And oh my god, the ending portion. After an awesome harmonizing section with BF and GF, the instrumental builds up to the song getting really fast, and it's hype as hell. There's no way this isn't my favorite. Come on now. Fantastic. And last but not least, the honorable mention for Stress. And that spot goes to Stress B-Sides. You know the deal with B-Sides by now. It's simple, but effective. More notes overall and slightly different ways about going about certain motifs and such, and sprinkling in original parts here and there. It's really just a solid remix. And then it pulls a fucking power move on us, and instead of ending the song when it was supposed to, it builds up to more song. And the final section is their own version of a fake Week 7 leaked song. And that's just so damn creative, honestly. I love how they did that as a nod to community history, in a sense. The same way they did did bringing in Shiver, a fan-made, like, week two song, and turned it into a monster song. Epic remix to end off on. And with that, that's the end of the list. Or we can extend this just by a little bit and go on to a section that I like to call Honorable Blur Mentions. 
I'm just gonna briefly mention a few songs that didn't make it onto the list. Not of every entry, but some entry. I'll try and keep it brief, so let's begin. For Test, it's Debug from Aerofunk. A really fast-paced different take on it just didn't make it, but it's really good. For Bo Peepo, it's Spooky Bo from Friday Night Flippin'. It's a sort of spooky-like take on the song, which makes sense seeing as Pump is the opponent. And yes, it's another swap mod, I recommend checking it out. Fresh had three candidates that got scrapped for honorable mentions, man. Like, I told you Fresh had a lot of options, and those options are Fresher from Aerofunk, Mint from Chill Sides, Fresh from FNF HD, and Chill from Friday Night Funk and Platinum. Though since I'll have no other opportunity to even say this, I really like the way that Fresher handles the, like, fresh vocals, if that makes sense. They even made their own little, like, motif, in a sense. Which, fun fact, Chill from FNF Platinum actually references th that said motif. <laughs> So yeah, I earned a lot of brownie points in that regard. For Dad Battle, it's Strive from DJX. I really love how Dad sounds here, and the awesome instrumental solo near the end of the song is an unexpected joy. For Spookies, it's Bittersweet from Aerofunk. Not much to say, came close to making it, but didn't. Skipping ahead a lot to Blammed, and for that, it's the FNF Crystal remix. It's another rock take on Blammed, and I honestly really love it. Also, if you consider Blam from Aerofunk to not really be a Blammed remix, then you can just consider this to be the actual honorable mention. Okay, so I got a lot to say about the Winter Horror Land one, right? The one that just didn't make it was Object Error from Funkin' Mix. Thing is, I wonder if this would even count in the first place. It's a monster song without lyrics, which isn't new, so that's not the problem. It's in free play, so saying it's a Winter Horrorland replacement is only based on, well, this part. So yeah, not to mention your opponent is Monster. Like yeah, that is actually base game Monster, but he's like fused with Lila from Spooky Month series. Don't ask. So yeah, I'm iffy on whether or not it counts, but it didn't make the list anyway, so whatever. For Senpai, it's the B-Sides remix. I like how fast-paced it is. It reminds me of a Mega Man song for some reason. For Roses, I basically already gave it away, but it's D-Sides. I like B-Sides take a little bit more, but this version is damn good. <sighs> All right, now that's the end. My goodness, I'm glad I finally got this out. I've been putting this video off for such a long time, not because it was necessarily hard to make, but I, I just got really lazy and procrastinating on some stuff. So I really hope y'all enjoyed that. I very more than likely won't make a follow-up to this concerning more remixes of base game stuff since that's always going to come out, so this list here will probably be outdated months from now, who knows. Now, this is a huge maybe, but I am considering maybe doing another video like this with a certain, like, subsection of the community that makes a lot of remixes of a certain mod, but whether or not I do that at all is, we'll, we'll find out. And before I actually end it off, I just wanted to thank the artist for the thumbnail of this video, my boy Lemon. First thumbnail I ever commissioned from him, man, and finally putting to use after like, I, I don't even know how long. <laughs> Go show him some love, I'll link his Twitter in the description. And like I said earlier, please in the comments tell me what your personal list would be. If you heavily disagree with certain things I put in here or agree or whatever, I'm actually genuinely curious. Without being toxic, of course. Well, that's all out of me, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the video, and peace out.